Seminar. Yes. But, uh, I can remember faces, just not names. He's been dying, man. He's like, man, I, we done drove down to Austin yesterday trying to get a class at Enzo's and everything. They were already full. Yeah, they're, they're, pretty much every class is packed. So you gotta like schedule it in advance. Of course, thank you. Thank you. All right, so we have uh, John Carlo versus Wagner in the heavyweight division. Uh, this, in my opinion, is probably John Carlo's toughest match. I think Wagner is probably the favorite, or definitely one of the favorites, to win this division. Um, he's a gamer. He's been around forever, uh, and he knows how to win. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how this goes. And uh, uh, I think this is a very winnable match for John Carlo. So I'm excited for it. Clearing ties, clearing ties. If those interlocked fingers get too much, turn your palm up. Good, pulling on the head, snapping the head, fainting the legs. Snapping the head, fainting the legs. Now, follow up with some attacks now. If you feel a pinch headlock is slipping off, we can scoop a leg as well. Good, you can either take a scoop grip and heist with it or pass it across. Good, use it to heist now, use it to heist now. We can use it to heist as well if we lose the knee. Good, pull the heel high, pull the heel high, toes to butt, toes to butt. Use it to heist next time, use it to heist next time. Plus 99 next year? Look at, look at Jack. <laughs> Wagner's the, the guy who's gonna, you know, he's, he's an OG guy, and John Carlo isn't, uh, isn't really that well known yet, so I kind of expected if it was tied, it was gonna go to Wagner, but I think that John Carlo definitely won that match. CTSV, all stock, but with a Corsa cat back on it, so it's just loud, but it's still pretty fast. I really like it when I'm paying attention, <laughs> because if I'm not paying attention, I'm just flying all over the car. <laughs> headed to uh, my buddy Brigham's house um, he's the he's the ways to well guy the guy people who have been helping me with my stomach um, one of the doctors who have been helping me with my stomach issue um, and uh, he's actually based out of Houston so all of his offices are in Houston so uh, he's like in the middle of a move between Houston and Austin so we're actually going to his house he actually uh, he administers uh, he gives me stem cells and we do either uh, in-person appointments when I was in Puerto Rico or when I, now that I moved here. Um, and when we were in Puerto Rico, we would do Zoom calls. Um, but every time I actually have to go to an appointment to get uh, stem cells or get prescription, um, we actually go to his physical house right now while he's in between moves between Houston and Austin. So um, it's, uh, it's pretty funny that my doctor's it's just me going to someone's house and like getting, like I just sit on a stool and they give me stem cells. So uh, that's where we're headed right now. I just, did, I just did an interview. He's like, where are you going? I'm like, I'm going to my buddy Brigham's house. That's where I get stem cells at. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> He's rebuilding the thing, whole thing, the whole property right now, so. Yeah, it's a nightmare. Yeah, it's almost done. They ran out of wood. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Uh, this is a industrial cooler from Signature Biologics. Uh, what it does is it keeps all the regenerative tissues at negative 80 degrees to maximize the viability of the live tissue. Um, it's all placental derived uh, treatments from healthy mothers, healthy baby births, uh, C-section to be planned. And you can see how frozen it gets. But, and this is human umbilical cord tissue uh, or Wharton's jelly tissue. 
Um, Neil Royden is really well known in the stem cell space uh, for his clinics in Panama, uh, where he does some of the most cutting edge treatments. Um, everything that we utilize at Ways to Well comes from Neil Royden and Signature Biologics as far as any regenerative tissues go. So this is Kayla, one of our providers. What Kayla's actually putting together is uh, a shot for BPC-157. Uh, BPC is what's being touted on the internet as the Wolverine molecule uh, for its healing factors. Uh, BPC in the muscle. Before anyone talks shit, I do the oral BPC too. Yeah. For my stomach, okay? There you are, that was it. Okay. Did it hurt? No, small in this time. <laughs> uh, with a lot of his treatments, we just looked at his unique situation and said, okay, he needs to keep on lean muscle mass. We need to increase his appetite. Um, we need to bring down the inflammation. Uh, and so we kind of took a shotgun approach to uh, throw everything at him but the kitchen sink and customize it as we went. Um, so we adjusted some of the medications and made some proprietary blends to help Gordon with his nauseousness. Uh, we utilized IGF-1 and R3, which is actually uh, a growth hormone peptide um, that will help uh, put on lean muscle mass, help increase appetite, stimulates the signals in the brain that you want more food. Uh, and then we utilized products like BPC-157 and thymus and beta. Um, which are being looked at for their uh, anti-inflammatory response and some of the benefits to bring down that inflammation of the gut. Dukes of Hazard style. This truck is so sick. That is badass. Now I understand why I can't voice text you. Yeah, true. Right. Well, he has like 180 acres in Dallas, or like right outside Dallas. He's like building like this end of the world uh, house out there for zombie apocalypse. Yeah, exactly. Appreciate you. Thanks, Thanks dude. All right, so um, now for all the haters who have uh, tried to tell me that my tummy egg isn't real, isn't really an excuse to not compete. Um, I have actual doctors. I have I've posted actual test results, um, but nobody wants to look at those. Um, and uh, or they just say, "Oh, steroids messed you up." No, the antibiotics messed me up. Um, but the good news is, I should have it under control sooner than later. Between the ways to well and this doctor in California who's treating me, um, I got a couple different guys on it. And uh, if and when I get better, you guys are just so fucked. I am. Somehow, I've managed to maintain the size, some size, so uh, I'm like about to be bigger than I've ever been, and um, my stomach's not even healthy yet, so hopefully like I'm like a 275 pound Gordon when uh, my stomach actually gets better, and I just traumatize everyone for the rest of your lives.